A map is a very common data structure in computer science. A lot of times this will be called a map, hash map, or a dictionary. And basically it's a key value pair that you can store inside of a data structure. And this is a map data structure. To create one, you can use the map of helper function. And this will actually let you create an immutable map of values. And what this means is we'll have a map where the keys are strings and the values are strings. The keys over here are over here, which means NY maps to New York, NJ maps to New Jersey, and CA maps to California. And of course, you could continue mapping all these down there. And then if you want to get that value, it's pretty easy. You can just say, do this, say states.get, and you can pass in the value of NY. And then of course, we could print line this and see what the result is. Now, as you're executing this, you'll see that New York has been returned. However, if I were to type, Let's go FL for Florida and run it. We're going to see that's not in there and a null value is returned. That is because it will return the corresponding value if it exists or null if it's not present in the map. So it's very often that sometimes you'll want to say get or default if you want a value to be known. So I don't want to work with a, a nullable type. Uh, so I'm going to say unknown, unknown value. And then at that point when I run FL, we'll get back unknown value that's printed out down to the screen down here. So that's one thing you can do. You can also use get or else, and or else is going to get or else is gonna allow you to provide a function where you can actually perform, you know, return some code, which could be, you know, whatever, could be foo. Uh, this is a function that you're gonna call that's going to be invoked when the default thing, nothing can be found here to match FL. So if I were to run this, we're going to see that when we say get or else foo is being returned. Now back to the original uh, method here of FL, we saw that the squiggly here inside of IntelliJ is saying that we can improve this through the basically the, the code uh, improvements. And when we press the a light bulb here to get that or over here I was able to just turn this into an indexing operator so basically saying hey states just like an array index give me the value for the key of FL and then of course it returns back a nullable string and we're gonna get back null here a couple of other things that are very useful inside of maps is you can check to see if a key is very is there so you can say is there a key there it returns a boolean value if the key is there it'll return true we can also say hey does this value exist and we know the value ny does not exist as the values because the values are here in new york new jersey california those are the values these are the keys and so the values don't contain there so we can do that and so there's a whole bunch of operations if you're interested to see what you can do because a map is part of the collections library in Kotlin. So we can actually get all the entries. So, which is gonna be a set because remember in a map, we can't have a duplicate. We can't have duplicate keys. So a key has to be unique. So we're gonna get back this result. If we print this, this will be a set of strings. And we can see here, there's all of our entries which is gonna be uh, for all the, excuse me, it's gonna have the keys and the values, all the entries. Uh, and then what we can do here is also we can see the keys. So if we wanna look at the keys, you can also inspect all of the keys, which will return back N, Y, N, J, and C, A. And of course you can inspect the values across the board. So you can start working with all of these different types of things in a map. Now, that's how you can kind of set up a regular immutable map inside of Kotlin.